Tonight's episode of Fargo sponsored by 106.9 KDEF. <laughs> this is episode number eight. Take one. These six video dice control the fate of these two players as they pit their wits against each other and their luck against the dice on Virgo! And here is the host of Fargo, Jason Myers! Woo! 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 Jason! Jason! Thank you, everybody. I think my hearing is still good. Anyways, welcome to Fargo <laughs> here on the MVG Network. Glad you can join us here today. If you tuned into last week's episode, we resolved the discrepancy that occurred due to a technical error. Actually, it was more of a video error, hopefully one that never happens again. But in the process of all that, we managed to recrown a champion, somebody who lost it during that glitch, but got it right back. He's back to defend it with $6,626 to his credit this time around. From Westfield, New Jersey, please welcome back. Johnny Peasy. Thank you. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. Now, I know it still kind of stings last episode that you made it to the bonus round, but you didn't manage to win a single thing. That's right. And I know you're looking forward to rectifying that situation tonight, right? I'm hoping I can get something this time. Oh, you, man, you did get something. It just wasn't from the yeah, well, That's right. But you got some tough competition lined up ahead of you. Hopefully, you could triumph over this one. Um, well, let's see. Yeah. Seamus, quit messing with the microphones for. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's meet your opponent for this game. He comes to us all the way from Savannah Lamar, Jamaica, man. Davion Baker. Hi, Jason. How are you today? I'm doing great. What do we need to know about you besides what I've already mentioned? What? From all the places you did mention, I'm a college student for about two, two colleges. One in which I'm studying uh, business administration, uh, majoring in uh, accounting and finance, and the one that I'm currently in, I'm I'm studying system administration, so it's basically based on hands-on on the computer side of I of information technology, aka IT. So yes. Okay, so you put both of those skills together. That means you're practically an online banker, which means I'll be calling you whenever my account goes into negatives. Cool. I'll keep that. <laughs> <laughs> But in the meantime, Dave Young, what do you plan on doing with the money and the prices should you happen to become champion today? Well, seeing how, the, seeing how I've been watching this show for a while, whether it's Gregor's or your side, uh, for the money, I'm going to put a little bit in my tuition and also in the bank and to, towards my fam, family members. For the prices, I might share it and also keep it to myself too. Well, there you go. Good luck to you, Davion. Good luck to you, Gianni. I'll explain the game to Davion since this is his first time here. I'm going to ask both of you a question. You're going to see three answers appear on the screen in front of you. The first person to buzz in and give me a correct answer is going to get control of these dice up here on the video monitor. And the only way to stop these dice from rolling is to hit your buzzer, and hopefully you see something that looks like this. Now, the name of the game is to try to score as many of these dice as you want to. For example, if you want to score off of a five, that puts $50 into the bank. 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 Or you could score off of a one that puts $100 into the bank. bank. Or you can score off of a natural triple. The natural triples being in this game being triple twos, triple threes, triple fours, triple sixes. These, however, do not put money into the bank, but they do come with prizes. Pay close attention because these are the prizes that are attached to the natural triples. For the roll of a triple two, we have a wake surf package. 
From Airhead, it's a wake surf package consisting of three wake surf boards, three jackets, and ropes worth $1,434. For the roll for triple three, it's still that television. It's that 50-inch QLED 4K smart television that's been here practically since episode number two worth $1,600. For the roll for triple four, we have a fishing kayak. From Pelican, it's a rudder-controlled fishing kayak with a paddle worth $1,621. And for the role of a triple six, we have a set of landscaping tools. From Steel, it's everything to make your yard look the best it's ever been, including a leaf blower, spring trimmer, chainsaw, two hedge trimmers, a lawnmower, and a charger. All of this is worth $1,740. And of course, to, to clear off any of these dice, you tell me which one you want to clear off, and they disappear like so. And then I'll ask you if you want to keep these dice or roll it again, or go on to a new question. In the event of going on to a new question, I'll ask you both another one. The next person to buzz in and give me a correct answer will have a choice of either keeping the dice to themselves or, roll, or passing it off to their opponent. Because if you get control of the dice and something like this pops up, there's no way to score for these dice and we call that a fire. Which will unfortunately put one strike on your side of the board. Three strikes, you're out of the game, and your opponent becomes the champion. So good luck to the both of you as we put $1,000 into the... Thank you. Thank you. I love audience participation so much. <laughs> First question has these answers. B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, Betty White. Estelle Getty may have played the oldest Golden Girl, but who was actually the Gianni? Betty White. Who was actually the oldest actress on the show? Betty White is right. All right. Gianni, you have an empty board. You I think I'm going to play it. Okay. <laughs> Well, oh. well, 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 right. well, well, uh, you want it? Kind of have to. Yeah, it's either that or take the farkle. I don't think you want to take the farkle this early in the game. So, prize number two is yours. You have three dice remaining. Roll them or a new question? New question. New question. Okay, cool. Right out of the gate, we give away a prize. Why couldn't we do that the last few episodes? Who, kn who knows? <laughs> Anyways, question number two has these answers. Army, Navy, Air Force. Players, what branch of the military did Popeye belong to? Davion. Navy. Is right. Davion, you have three dice in your possession. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it over to, to Gianni? Okay, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to uh, roll them. He's going to roll, okay. From John Kidd, that's eight, right? To, to stop him and hit your buzzer again. Okay. okay. Two scoring options available. Do you want them both? Do you want one of them? Yeah. I feel like both of them and a new question. Both of them, okay. And new question, heard. 11.50 in the... Bank! Question number three has these answers. Bull, dog, rock. Dwayne Chapman is a former bail bondsman and professional bounty hunter who has what animal? <laughs> Davion? Dog. As what animal is his nickname? Dog the bounty hunter. Yes. Yeah. Davion, you have one die. You want to roll it, or do you want to pass it? I'll pass it to Gianni. Gianni, you have one die, and it's all yours. Oh. And so is this far. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, puts one strike on your side of the board. But on a farkle, we do clear the board. Question <clears throat> number four, players, has these answers. Dipsy, Lala, Poe. Alani Nicole Anthony is a former MTV VJ who is better known by what name? Gianni. What? 
It's right. Gianni, for the second time, you have an empty board. <laughs> I'm going to still roll it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, how do you want to deal with this? So, obviously, I'm going to take three of the fours. Three of the fours, okay. Let's keep the one on the end. Yeah, the one on the end. And I'll take the 50 as well. And that 50, okay. And new question. Okay. New question he wants. New question he gets. $1,200 in the... Bang! Bang! These answers pop up. Stray cats, stray dogs, stray kids. I'm sure you may have heard of the song Jump, Jive, and Whale by the Brian Setzer Orchestra, but who did Brian Setzer originally play guitar for? Gianni. Stray cats. Is right. You have two dice. Roll it or pass it to Davion. I'm going to pass Davion. You're going to pass Davion. Two <laughs> dice. They're all yours. That's from my mouth. Nope. That's Farkle. <laughs> One strike on your side of the board. But again, on the Farkle, we do clear the board. Eh? Let's try that again, shall we? We shall. If we get this. Poe River, Row River, Ob River. Before they removed the category from the Guinness Book of World Records, what river was officially deemed the smallest river in the world? <laughs> Davion. <laughs> what was that? River. P O. You say P O, I say N O. Road. Oh. Hey, Gianni! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna play it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Hold the phone here! Yeah. Okay, so this has never happened before, first of all. Uh, secondly, you've already claimed prize two. Thirdly, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, two. So that's 200, 400, 600, 800 going into the. So, uh, let's just go. Oh, that give you a reroll token on top of that. How about that? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's one for the books there. Let's see, if, let's see what else happens tonight as we look at these answers. Montana, Dakota, and Alberta. By the way, players, the next set of questions are going to have these answers. <laughs> Starting with this one. Speaking of the smallest river in the world, where is it located? Davion. I'm taking a guess, uh, Dakota? Montana. Hey, okay. Gianni! <laughs> For the third time! You have an empty board. <laughs> what do you want to do this time? time? For the first time, you gonna what? Roll it. Okay. I swear, if all six of the same number pops up again, I'm, I'm going back to to see what the same is up to. Okay, we got some differences here. Take it off. What's that? Take it off. Take it all, alright. So we'll take that off the board, put $100 in the. Uh, hey! hey. And we'll take. These three fives off and put six hundred dollars, oh no, five hundred dollars in the big break. Right. Right Speaking of okay, numbers, you got two dice left. You want to re roll them or do you want a new question? New question. Okay. <sighs> that was question number seven. This is question number eight, and it still has these answers. <laughs> A former ECW wrestler by the name of Lance Storm likes to remind everybody that he comes from Calgary. Gianni. Alberta. Insert dramatic pause. 
Alberta, Canada. Johnny, you have two yep. dice. Roll it or pass it? I'll pass. You'll pass. Davion, two uh, dice. Uh, Here we go. One or five uh, pops up, you're good. All right, let's get it now. Oh, uh, well, how about a one and a five? <laughs> You can get me my weekend. Right? I swear, these guys must be rated in a good way. Both contestants have a reroll in their possession. Both contestants also have a strike in their possession. And both contestants get to look at these answers again. <laughs> <laughs> Players, what last name can be associated with both Hannah and Broadway Joe? Gianni. Montana. There you go. Bad boy again. <laughs> Johnny, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, you have an empty board. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to play again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take it all. Take it all. $200 goes into the... Dang! You have three dice left, Gianni. Roll it a new question. New question. Okay. All right, I think we've had enough of Montana, Dakota, and Alberta. So we'll take a break from them and the dice. We'll be back with more Fargo right after this. Don't go. <laughs> Welcome back to Farkle, everybody. Let's have a little bit of fun with these answers. Alliteration, alternation, alternative. Yeah, boy. Players, it's now time to participate in an impromptu script spelling bee. I'm going to ask you a question. You have to tell me what the answer is, spell it, and then repeat the answer. The question I pose to you is, which one of these is actually spelled right? Gianni. Alliteration. A L I T T E R A T I O N. Alliteration. Alteration, unfortunately. No. Uh, Davion, you have three dice in your possession. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? I think there might be some money in this one. I'll play. You'll play, okay. All right, come on, let's get some money right now. So. No money, but you do have an option here. You could burn that okay. reroll token and reroll those three dice again, or you could take the Farkle and keep your reroll. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to spend my reroll for this one. He's going to burn the reroll. Okay, good luck. Yes. No! Strike no! two, unfortunately, Davion, but again, on a Farkle, we do clear the board. So you got that on your side. Alright. Question number 11 has these answers Rumba, Samba, Lambada. What are a group of rattlesnakes called? Gianni. A samba. Rumba. Davion, for the first time, you face an empty board, but I do have to remind you that it is possible to farkle on an empty board. With that in mind, with your two strikes, do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? We have to take some rest in there. Let's, let's play. He's going to play, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to some triples or some monies. Come on, let's get it right now. We got monies. Okay. You know what? I'm going to just take one of the hundreds. And I'm going to spin again. You're going to go again? Okay. Alright, let's go again. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Everything except the two and the question. And 
the question heard. $3,100 in the... Hey. Question number 12, players, has these answers. Hug each other, hold hands, sing kumbaya. <laughs> what does Seattle do? Johnny. Hold hands. What do sea otters do while sleeping so they don't drift apart? They hold hands. What? Wow. Uh, Gianni, you have one die in your possession. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it to Davion? I'm going to pass this time. He's going to pass. All right, Davion. A one or a five pops up. The game continues. Anything else? Gianni is still the champ. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, Jason. One or five will save me. One! Okay, I'm, sa I'm still safe. Ooh. And on top of that, you got the reroll back. <laughs> so, Davion Green's new life as we look at question number 13 with these answers John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr. Ooh. Players, which member of the Beatles has never appeared on Saturday Night Live? Gianni. John Lennon. Is right. <laughs> <laughs> do I dare ask? What do you want to do, I'm Gianni? Rolling. I'm rolling it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three for them. New question. New question. Okay. Thirty-four hundred in the bank. Bank. All right. New question. New answers. Valerie Bertinelli, Ina Garden, Giada De Laurentiis. Which celebrity chef is better known as the Barefoot Contessa? I will. Tell you that it's not Valerie Bertinelli, so that leaves either Ina Garden or Giada De Laurentiis. Who is better known as the Barefoot Contessa? Davion. Ina Garden? Is right. Okay. Davion, you have four dice in your possession. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? I'm going to play some strategy. I'm going to pass it. He's going to pass. All right. Gianni, the four dice are yours. Okay. Take both. And then... New question. New question, all right. 35.50 in the... Dang. Dang! Question number 15. By the way, if we get through all 21 questions and there's no clear-cut winner, we will go in the side of debt. Keep that in mind as we look at these answers. Stevie Dix, Stevie Wonder, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Which musician's real name is Stevlin Hardaway Morris? Davion. Stevie Wonder? Is right. Okay. Davion, you have two <laughs> dice in your possession now. Roll it or pass it. Pass it to Gianni. Gianni. Two dice in your possession. Here we go. Now this is situ situation time. Burn the re-roll and roll them again, or keep the re-roll and take the farkle. I'll use the I'll use the re-roll. You'll use the re-roll. Okay, the re-roll is gone. Here we go again. Oh, yes. Safe. New question. Okay. Unless you're feeling gutsy, yeah, don't, don't make me stop you. <laughs> New question. Question number 16 has these answers. Boneyard, graveyard, stockyard. A collection of dominoes that have been turned face down. Gianni. Boneyard. A collection of dominoes that have been turned face down and shuffled is referred to as what? The boneyard is right. You have one die in your possession, Johnny. What do you want to do with it? I think you know. I'm going to pass. 
thinking you're gonna pass. Okay, Davion, one die. One or five. Uh, the game goes on. Nice. Love that game. And it's Ooh. another game! <laughs> Again. So now you have two rerolls on your side. My hey God. <laughs> Thirty-seven hundred and up. Thanks. I'm so proud. <laughs> Seventeen has these answers. Mario, Wario, Lucario. <laughs> Well, since Seamus got a little bit excited back there and decided to reveal the answer to both of y'all before I could even finish asking the question, along with playing the theme music, <laughs> Seamus, the control panel is not to be used as your seat cushion. <laughs> Anyways. Let's try that again. So that was question 17, which nobody will unfortunately be able to play off of. So let's look at question 18, which has these answers. Seamus, make sure you do not sit on the control panel. Sally O'Malley, Helen Madden, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Which of these iconic Saturday Night Live characters portrayed by Molly Shannon likes to kick, stretch, and kick because she's 50, 50 years old? Yeah. Davion. Sally O'Malley? Is right. <laughs> Davion, there's an empty board in front of your face. You have two strikes. You also have two re-rolls. Do you want to roll the dice or do you want to pass them? Well, I'm seeing how Gianni still kind of has a leap. I feel like I want to roll for this one. So you're going to roll it? Yes, sir. Here we go. Let's <laughs> oh, I'll get the cash. Okay, then. So how do you want to deal with this? Do keep in mind that if you take the pause, it will not give you another price for it. It'll just put $400 into the pot. So that means that's 500 Put in 500 now. And your question. Question heard. Forty-two hundred dollars in the. Bang! So proud. Question number nineteen has these answers. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Even though that answer got ran off the screen, it's League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. A league of their own or out of their league. In which movie will you hear Tom Hanks declare that there's no crying in baseball? Davion. A league of their own. Uh -huh. Gianni. Two dice in your possession. Do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? Pass. Pass, he says. Davion. Two dice. A one or a five pops up. The game goes on. I'm on one and five, please. Situation time. You yeah. Say, well, the situation is you have to burn up one of your rerolls because well, if you take the farkle, that means game over. So <laughs> one down, one remains. Come on, one out five. There goes your last reroll. Hit one or five pops up. The game goes on. Anything else? It's game over, and Gianni retains his championship. Good luck. Okay. Alright, come on. That's game over! That means Gianni is still the champ! Hey, Gianni. Good game, Davion. Gianni, you get to try your luck again in the bonus round in just a second. Davion. Not bad for your first time here on the show. A lot of people have taken early exits. You managed to cling on and make it almost all the way to sudden death, but unfortunately the dice were just not in your favor. But you're not leaving out of here empty-handed. You do have a four lit up on your side, so we'll give you $400 as a consolation prize, and our thanks for playing. Did you have fun on here? 
Hey, uh, like you said, not a lot of people would last this long on Farco, so I'm very thankful. And Gianni, hope you hope you get in the bonus round. Thank you. Give it up for Dave Yon Baker, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. When we come back, Gianni's going to try his luck again at the bonus round and try to take us for everything we've got. How will we do? We'll find out after this. Everybody, I'm here with Gianni Pizzi, who managed to survive that last-minute onslaught from Dave Young Baker. He picked up $4,200 in cash, along with prize number two and prize number four. And now you're back here at the bonus round to try to redeem yourself from last episode. You think you got what it takes this time? Well, I'm hoping so. We're hoping so, too. You already know how this works. All I got to do is just put the dice back up on the board and show you that we've taken the six out. We've replaced it with a wild card. All it takes is the triples to knock out all these numbers on the top of the screen. For every triple that you roll, we knock out that, accord that number accordingly. Every number that you knock out comes with a prize. And pay attention if you forgot from last episode, because here are the prizes. <laughs> For the roll of a triple one, it's an espresso package. From Anza, it's an artisanal espresso machine that comes with two mugs worth $1,440. For the roll of a triple two, we have a set of electric bikes. From Aviton, it's a pair of step to commuter electric bicycles worth $3,599. For the roll of a triple three, we have a trip to Washington, D.C. You and the guests will fly around to the coach from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. for a five-night stay in a superior room at the Omni Shoreham Hotel. Daily breakfast, a $400 amenities credit, and an American history tour for two are included in this trip worth $9,257. For the roll of a triple four, we have a hot tub. It's the Beachcomber 320 Leaf Hot Tub with Alabaster Facing, 45 Jets, and LED Mood Lighting worth $10,931. And for the roll of a triple five, Gianni, it's a new car! It's the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EV 1LT. Able to travel a 259 mile range with a single motor electric drive, this car features a 65 kilowatt battery and interior protection package worth $26,845. Total value of the board, $52,072. All of that is up for grabs tonight. All you gotta do is knock out the numbers one by one. The long way or the short way. The short way being the combination that you saw on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, and the wild card. If that combination pops up in any order, we give you everything that is up there, plus a cash jackpot, which I neglected to mention, because normally it starts out at $5,000, but since it hasn't been won in a long minute, <clears throat> it's actually worth $35,000. <laughs> Meaning you are playing for $87,072 in cash and prizes. Gianni, unfortunately you didn't make it with the reroll. But stranger things have happened, as has happened all night long. All I can say to you is good luck and get the rolling. Well, uh, there goes the one. You have the espresso package in your possession. Do you want to stop right now and take the espresso package and walk away? Or do you want to keep rolling? Keep going. Keep going, okay. <laughs> no! no! Oh, Johnny. Oh for 2 this time around. But, you definitely... Have nothing to hang your head on. You did pick up $4,200 from the front game. 
He also picked up prize number two and prize number four. So on the day, you finish with $7,255 in cash and prizes. Combine that with everything that you won on the last episode. You're a two-day champion with $13,881 in cash and prizes. Plus, you get to come back next week to defend the championship again. And hope that third time's a charm, right? Well, we're gonna hope that, yeah, words. We're gonna hope that along with you. We hope you join in next week and hope that third time's a charm for Gianni. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the whole world about this show, this channel, and MVG Productions. In the meantime, this is Jason Myers saying thanks for playing Fargo. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Uh -huh. Oh!